a brick and mortar business like the Low Country Coffee Company that just opened up here in St. Stephen, South Carolina, or an online business, you need to know what people are saying about you online, which is why as a small business owner, you want to be using Google Alerts. That is a free automated online tool through Google that not only allows you to stay on top of your brand's reputation, but will also allow you to monitor your competitors if you're into that kind of thing and stay ahead on industry trends. So go ahead and stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you how to set all that up for your small business. And remember, it's completely free and also a few tips so that you can maximize it to its full potential. Before we start talking about Google Alerts and show you how to set up the notifications for your small business, if you happen to be new here, my name is Vivian Walton. I am an executive marketing professional. I've been doing that for over 20 years now. And in 2017, I launched my own small business, The Seasoned Marketer. I am also big sister to Chelsea here who happens to be a marketing professional herself. And so together we have teamed up and we are the marketing sister duo that brings you information, tools, and strategies. So if that's something that as a small business owner you can use in your life to help you run and grow your business, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. And also don't forget that if you find this video on Google Alerts useful, please hit that like button so that we know you found it valuable. Now let's go ahead and get started and talk Google Alerts. First things first, in order to set up Google Alerts, you have to have a Google account. So that means you're gonna have to sign up for Gmail. Now, if you do not have one, it's really simple. Go to support.google.com and this right here will appear. Scroll down to the Gmail icon, click on that, and then scroll down here and click on create a Gmail account. Over here, there's gonna be a blue button. You're going to want to hit create an account and follow the prompts. Easy peasy. Now, once you've done that, or if you already have a Google account, then you can set up your Google Alerts. Now, in order to do that, what you're going to do is actually come over here and go to google.com. What you're gonna see is up here to the right-hand corner. I want you to check to be sure that you are logged into your Google account. So once you go to google.com, if you see your profile picture right there that you've selected or your avatar, or perhaps you don't have one designated yet, but it says your name and it has you logged in, via Gmail, then you're going to come back over here and add slash alerts. So that way you go to google.com slash alerts. And what you'll see here is I already have three of them activated for my account. I have my name, I have my email address, and I have my business name already set up. But let's say that you want to add one for your small business. Now, what you'll do is you'll think of a keyword or a phrase that you want to be alerted and sent an email every time this appears within Google. So let's say, for example, I am Kicking Chicken. It's a local restaurant here in Charleston, South Carolina. I would type in Kicking Chicken and if I select show options, this drop down arrow right here, I am given several different options for when to be alerted. I can change when the alert is sent my way, whether I want to do it uh, once a day, once a week, or as it happens. Let's say I'm gonna select as it happens because I wanna stay on top of this. I can also determine for which sources I want these notifications sent my way. So either I can leave it automatic or if I can select from news, blogs, web, video, books, discussions, finance. And so you determine which best fits what you are looking for 
for each one of these notifications. Additionally, you can select the region. If I click down here, it gives me United States and it gives me other countries that I can choose from. Also, you can determine if you want to get all the results or only the best results that fit your particular industry or what you're looking for. And then the last option is gonna be the email that you want it sent to. So once you've selected and set this up the way you want, then you select create alert and you'll notice it added it right here. Now it's really easy to delete, which I will delete because that's not relevant to me, um, or to go in and edit at any time. So this can be extremely flexible and can change as you progress in your small business. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that one and keep the three notifications or alerts that I had already set up prior to this. All right, so now that you know how to physically set up your Google Alerts, let's talk about a few best practices. If you want these Google Alerts to actually help you out, you need to be specific. Now, there are two key areas that you're gonna to wanna to be specific in. Your keywords and phrases, you're gonna to wanna to be sure that those match up with whatever you're trying to accomplish with this alert. So for example, if you're trying to stay ahead or up to date with what the industry is doing, then you wanna be sure that you're using the keywords and phrases that are going to alert you whenever something is going on within your industry. But if you are looking to monitor what your competitor is doing, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to use phrasing that will trigger that. If you wanna stay on top of your brand reputation, then you want to use specifically your business name or your name perhaps. Number two, the other area you want to be specific in is in the filters that you selected. For example, how often do you wanna be notified? Be sure that these are all correlating with your ultimate goal for the Google Alert. Another best practice is to stay organized. Do not try to lump several of these alerts into one Google alert because then it just doesn't work as well. So be very specific and cognizant about how you want to prioritize these alerts. I don't recommend that you build about, you know, 25 of them because then your email is going to be going a little crazy and then you're not going to look forward to actually reading the alerts when they come through. So be sure that you narrow down your focus and prioritize which of these you actually want to receive alerts for as they happen and which of them can actually be something that you receive on a weekly basis. And lastly, be sure that you act quickly. So the key to Google Alerts is to utilize them in a way that is actually going to benefit your small business and to help you stay on top of industry trends, brand reputation, or your competitors. The key reason that you want to get really specific about your goals with Google Alerts is so that way they are valuable and you are taking action. The last thing you want to do is to just create Google Alerts for the sake of creating them. And then whenever you receive those email notifications and you get a pop-up on your phone, you don't go to your email to check it. That just defeats the purpose of setting up these alerts to stay on top of your marketing efforts with your small business. Ideas for using Google Alerts. As you can imagine, there are a plethora of ways that you can utilize Google Alerts for your small business, but here are four ideas on how you can leverage these Google Alerts in order to help you with some of your marketing initiatives. Number one, market intelligence. So by setting up keywords or phrases that are related to industry trends and relevant news, you can actually stay ahead of your competitors and gain a little bit of an advantage. Don't worry, if you are a small business owner that feels like you're bogged down with the operations of your business or managing your staff, Google Alerts will help you in this area because then you're not having to go out there to spend time looking for updated information, but instead you're getting these notifications straight to your inbox whenever there is something worth reading. Number two, competitive analysis. 
Listen, I'm not saying that you want to spend all day just watching what your competitor is doing, but it could be nice to know whenever they are opening a new location or if they've launched a new product. So setting up Google alerts that specifically relate to your competitors will allow you to not have to go out there and spend any time searching for this stuff, but instead you only get notified whenever it is something that is relevant to what you're specifically wanting to know. Number three, reputation monitoring. This this is probably the best way to utilize Google Alerts because there are so many different ways that people can be leaving feedback or writing reviews for your small business. You could be mentioned in a blog, in a community newspaper, or even on Facebook. And so this is the best way for you to be able to get a handle on things early on. So the last thing you want to do is to find out about something that's been written about your small business weeks down the road. This gives you the opportunity to promptly reply to negative feedback or to address any customer concerns that may arise. And number four, content curation. As we all know, as small business owners, we are also now content creators. So whether that means getting inspiration for your next blog post or realizing what the most commonly asked questions are within your industry so that you can start to create Instagram reels or even include these questions in your marketing material. Google Alerts is a fabulous way to spark a lot of these ideas. If you're a small business owner and you're not leveraging this free automated tool through Google, Google Alerts, then you are really missing out on a great opportunity to not only garner ideas to be able to help you with content creation, but to also help you stay on top of competitors and also on top of your own brand reputation. Hey, if you're an SOB, small in business, stick around and watch this next video right here. Don't forget to check out our website at theseasonmarketer.com where we have freebies available for you to download today. And while you're there, go ahead and sign up for our weekly email list so that you could get even more marketing news and information sent directly to your inbox.